Hey everybody, this is CapNext24 bringing you guys another episode of the Fire Emblem Awakening walkthrough. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and tackle Chapter 7, Breakneck Pass. And hopefully all will go well. I think after this, I'd like to go ahead and do maybe some of the Paralogue missions. I Very high chance I'll do uh, videos of the DLC missions, the Xenolog, uh, especially if you guys want me to. Uh, you know, I could end up doing those uploaded at some point after I'm done with the main story, or I could just stick them in between. I think it'd be best if I just stick them in between. Anyway, so we're all traveling on our way. If I recall, there's nothing particularly meaningful in this cutscene. But anyway, something suspicious about this hierarch we have with us. Hey. But anyway, here are some Plegian soldiers. And so, surprise, surprise, we're gonna have a battle. Alright. I'm kinda wondering who I should pick with me. Virion's gonna be really important. Unfortunately, losing Stahl sucks. But I can pair Virion with Sully, and that's just fine. If I recall, they actually even have a C relationship. So... There, can I see more of this? Oh, he doesn't seem to... Alright, well, anyway. Um, Miro's a tough call. She's really fragile. But she could be a decent mage, maybe. Probably I'm going to avoid using her because she's just level 1. And Sumia, as much as I'd like to partner up with Krom, level 1 in this chapter, and there are some arches around, I just don't want to deal with that. So I think that's safe for good measure. And, uh, let's arrange some guys around. Alright, let's see. Is everything to my liking? Um, yeah, I think that's about good enough. Alright, we've got kind of a snooty boss to fight here. Oh, awesome, yeah, and the hierarch that sold us out is probably just gonna get stabbed. Of course. How often does that work out for you? Like, seriously, that's like, that's like such a big cliche in everything. Movies, books, I guess, any type of story. Uh, what can I do? Could set up Krom and Captain together. Uh, Virion and Sully I want to keep together. Gaius and Longku, that'll work out nicely because speed and skill. Uh, hmm. Actually, I'm gonna try a vacant pen. That'll boost your strength by a good bit. Plus, plus maybe they can build some kind of relationship or something. I do like having him with Frederick, but eh. Because then I notice, I feel like Frederick does all the work, because I kind of have him go and instigate and just kind of pull stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll have like Maribel with him to offer moral support or something. Will that actually give him strength bonus? Oh well. That's interesting. I like having two tanky guys, but at the same time, doing something like this is pretty satisfying too. I'll just rush in and do a bunch of damage. Is that high defense? Oh, okay. Gum's gonna contribute, that's fine by me. High defense will go my way. Um, this is a map where it's pretty good to stay mostly defensive because it was wyvern knights largely unless you can deal with them at ease uh ooh that guy has a hammer let's hope that doesn't hit me I think considering how much defense he has I think I'm pretty sure that plus 5 will activate afterwards so that should make it 23 he should be able to take a hit I think let's see what I can do here that's not doing quite that much Falchion is doing its work. Actually, wait, hold on, how far do these guys' range extend? Uh, okay, that definitely sh extends into that range. Um, yeah, in that case, I'll switch over to Falchion. Because that'll destroy flying units anyway. So I don't have to worry much. Good thing he missed, but it's like a 40% chance of him hitting anyway. 
if it gets the levels on Krom, and if these guys want to attack, they can go right ahead, seriously. Like, they're gonna just get steamrolled. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, Lancer Sword. I think a lot of these guys have axes too, so sword will work out in my... to my benefit. Keep these guys safe. I really want to keep Maribel safe. And then Miguel, I'll have to do her own thing. Maybe, I don't know, if that, uh, Wyvern Knight wants to attack, I don't think it'll be too bad. I hope this 10 doesn't hit. Eh, it did. At least I have a lot of health. Oh, nice. If they contributed. How cool of you. The less damage I have to take, the better. Oh, nice. Really cool of him to kick in. Didn't have to take that other five from the, uh... Legion's beef. Hammer. Nice. Oh, what only with the 19? That's not horrible at all. Oh, cool. He's getting rid of. I don't think we got to keep this hammer, though. Oh, yes. Come right at me. Hit me for a 9 and miss. Get wrecked. Seriously, that's awesome. Got like a 20% crit chance on him, too. This. Uh, I don't think I should worry. Oh. Shucks. If they contributes, that'll be like super good. Oh, but he missed. That sucks. Cause he is I was um if I'd been hitting for one more each time, that would have been enough damage to take down that guy, but unfortunately not quite. Ah. Eh. Not the best, not the worst. It's a level up. I'll take it. Alright, let's see. What can I... Wonder, maybe I can get some experience on Gaius here. That would be nice, actually. I think I might just use Pan and just heal up. Or Maribel heal her. Uh, what's... Is that the only guy that's gonna be... Okay. I feel pretty safe with that. Alright, cool. Oh, nice. I get to keep the steel bow when I'm done. That'll be good for Virion. Uh, actually, is everything in the world gonna go and attack Virion then? Probably. This might be better. Considering she's got some defense going for her. And I think this should level her too, so... Let's get that guy crushed. That's a really creepy, like, rabbit form thing. Eh. I don't know if I like that, but whatever. She's good. So, might as well. When life gives you lemons, give the lemons back. No, um... Maybe I'll just advance him one square? Alright, let's see. This, that's not gonna do too much. Come at me with your nice little seven... And miss. Alright. I'm cool with that. Oh, come at me with your hand axe. That'd be like disappointing if this one hit. So much lower of a chance of anything. Oh, yes. That one. That one. It'll make all the difference. Just joking, I lied. Then, oh, this has low odds of hitting anyway. I don't know exactly why it is that everything has such low odds of hitting. Oh, yeah, and we get a character here, too. It's Cordelia. Cordelia? Cordelia? I don't know. I'll call her whatever. I'll probably call her both. I have this tendency of doing that. Okay, well, Pan can definitely take that individual out. Switch. Let's see what Virion can do here. Oh, he can't quite take down that guy, but he can definitely take down the thief. Oh, nice. This guy's a medium-sized bullion. I think that's worth 5,000. It's worth a lot of money, I know that. Uh, yeah, 5,000 gold. That is quite substantial. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, sweet. And I can take down this guy. Even if he hits me, that 4 is not gonna do much at all. Oh, now I get the critical hit. Yeah, okay. Whatever. It, uh, doesn't matter that much. 
This guy's this guy's toast. And let's slowly advance forward. Is what's what's still okay? I see. Right. Uh, as soon as I get this guy clear, I think I'll have a safe spot for Maribel to stand. The reason why I might seem kind of concerned. Hopefully, it will make itself clear soon. Lonku and Gaius are not getting that much play here, but eh, whatever. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. In case something happens, I'm keeping Lonku at the front. And then what's the safest spot I've got? I guess that is. Oh, nice, I have a rescue. I forgot I put that on her. Oh, I still have Cordelia. Stick her in the woods for now. She comes with a steel lance and javelin. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll partner up with Kellum. Yeah, with Kellum. Oh, right, no, never mind. I already have him on. Who don't I have partnered up? I got. Oh, yeah, it's right, Maribel. I was about to say, I thought I have an odd number amount of people. I could switch, I guess. There's no really great way to defend from that guy now, I guess. But, uh. Well, let's see, this guy I can definitely take care of with the Falchion. And if. Seriously, if Captain wants to kick it in, maybe for once. There we go. I could have sworn there's like a pretty big chance of him hitting, too. For that dual strike. Oh, nice. Maribel's safe again. Maybe I'll have her. Ah, eh, you know what? Maybe I'll have something else move beforehand. Um. Do I want to try and transfer Cordelia at some point? Uh, maybe I should leave things how they are for now. Maybe I should also tempt with Pan here. Does that leave me vulnerable? No, these guys are safe. Alright, uh, I think I'm okay with that. I'll leave her as safe as possible here. The fact that I have rescue is going to be nice. Because it means if I ever need to just save someone... I don't know, it'll come in handy at some point in the future, I'm sure. Especially, I think, Chapter 9 gave me a lot of trouble on my main file. So I think that might be nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. What was that kicking in? Pan? Okay. Alright, let's see. Normally some Wyvern Knights show up on the backside. I'm surprised none have yet. Um, maybe I'll have someone absorb these tiles then. Yeah, let's go. Let's go very on Sully. Nah, she's not in the world's best condition. Miguel and Vake? I don't know. I'll probably end up calling her Miguel for a long time. Uh, relationship improved. Okay. That works. Hopefully I get a uh, support level from them after this map. And let's move these guys forward. Do what we can do, keep these guys safe. Keep these guys safe. Uh, should I pair up with Maribel? What will that do? They'll, they'll give her stats, but I don't know what it'll give Cordelia. She's not that powerful yet, although she is better than Sumia, that's for sure. Um, okay, now there are Wyvern Knights showing up in the back. I knew they would at some point. Oh, cool. Uh, Pan is going to be able to take down this guy completely. That's nice. Does that give me another level? Oh, cool. Yeah, if I could keep leveling Pan, that is fine by me. Res, that'll, that'll help. I was hoping for a strength defense. You know, obviously my favorite. Every time I'm hoping for a strength defense. But, uh... Can't always get what you want. Alright, this is... This is in pretty good shape. Almost all these guys are taken down. Question is, how can I take down all these guys? I can definitely have Krom. 15. Alright, Captain, this is your time to shine. I can have Krom do this. If he wants to get a critical, nah, he's welcome to. Well, at least I'll. Okay, that worked out. Oh, I didn't notice he had. This guy had such garbage odds of hitting me. Not too hard to boss, then. That's nice to know. And a level up, come on. 
Strength defense, my favorites. Nice. And luck and skill. It's, oh, this is going places. Oh, and I get to keep the steel axe. Um, I don't want to... Because I have a feeling they're all going to try and gank up on her. Let's see. Obviously, Virion would get one of these kills and get a lot of experience. Could get probably one with Lon Ku. Well, I don't want to risk it because that's a lot of damage at stake. Maybe I'll just have the uh, Frederick Kellum combo going at it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Might as well get the event tile. All right, experience. I'll take it. Accept it for what it's worth. And let's get concoction up in here. I hope not all those guys can reach me there. I think some will try and target Cordelia. I'd rather not lose her, but if I do, like, I won't be terribly upset. Because I'm just, like, as, mu as good as they can be, I'm just not super fond of Pegasus Knights. I don't know. It's a shame, because I just got her. Eh, yeah, I'll take the loss. Sumia can get good. It's just she's not, like, right away. This I shouldn't have to worry about. The more level ups we're getting for Pan, the better. I don't know. I'm trying pretty different things than I did on my main file. Because there, like, I never used Pan, and I kept Cordelia alive, and I had Rickon, and... I don't know. Um... But it's kind of cool to keep it fresh. And... Oh, for a second I was really worried about Maribel. I was like, oh no. Why... Oh no, she's unguarded. I'm gonna need her for now. That's gonna go a long way. Maybe a level up for Virion? I think this should be enough to get him there. Alright, cool. Uh, not the best. Not terrible. Res will be helpful because we'll be fighting a lot of mages soon. That's why I keep saying, like, oh, that'll go a long way, you know. Because it, it, it will. In the long run, it'll be helpful. Oh, I should have had Callum try that. Well, it's not much, anyway. Whatever. Uh, I do love Lanku. Can the Vake... Can the Vake pull through here? No, he can't. Vake, you suck. Let's just finish this. Oh, I should have used the Iron Sword. Kind of a waste of killing edge uses. I think that would have still done enough damage. Regardless, level up. Not the world's best, but that defense is going to help. And that, so is that res. I would love his strength on uh, Longku, because when he's strong... Oh, man. Alright, so stuff safe. I think Cordelia is considered like a main character or something. Hence, she's just retired and still in his cutscene. Um. Right, yeah, some character development, I think. Or something. Anyway, Please. we need to return Emerin to the capital. And... Alright, so we get to hold the Fire Emblem. I think there's a lot of politics, dialogue stuff in the uh, next cutscene or so. Which is just, you know, the most riveting of all dialogue. Sister. Oh look, Emerin's being selfless, as usual. Emerin, you patrician. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, what I'm trying to imply there, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, all right. Come on now. Hold on a sec, am I gonna get Cordelia back or something? If they want to, that would be awesome. There are occasions in uh, 
Fire Emblem games where a character can die in one chapter and they will come back. But it's pretty rare. Sometimes it also will depend on, uh, you know, if you get to control them. Like, I believe someone pointed out to me in the comments that if Marth dies in the um, chapter 6, defending the castle, like, she'll still be around in the future. Because, you know, being a main character and all. Alright, cool. So that wasn't terrible. Kind of boring cutscenes. A little bit of stuff still to take care of, I suppose. Right, yeah, yeah. Alright, preparations for... for battle or something. Meanwhile, Krom's deep in thought. That kind of threw me off the first time. Because Sumia... Oh yeah, also she just punched him square in the jaw. Um, like she says, snap out of it, Captain. But it's like, wait, but I'm Captain. Whatever, I guess it's trying to lighten the mood or something. Whatever. Uh, come on, let's, let's keep things moving along here. Storyline, storyline... Politics, diplomacy, yada yada yada. I'm gonna go fight things. That's where it's at. How the game works. Some support conversations. That's the storyline I care about. But seriously though, support conversations, like, most of them are pretty funny. Uh, and some of them, people have found, contain pop culture references. Which is, uh, makes it even more awesome. Oh, awesome, yes. Elustal has fallen. And... Emerin has been captured. That's just the best ever. And now she's gonna get executed. Great. So unfortunately that means we're gonna have to deal with King Gengrel soon. And we're gonna have to go to Plegia, which, by the way, is basically a giant desert. And it really, really sucks to deal with. Um, maybe I'll bring that up next chapter when we actually, like, have to deal with it. But there tends to be these awesome tiles that, like, you move across so slowly. Like, you'll move, like, three tiles per turn or two tiles or something ridiculously small. Even though you could normally move, like, five. Anyway. We did unlock Chapter 3 of the Paralogue. And at this point in time, I think rather than doing Chapter 8 next, it might not be a bad idea to do Chapter, um... Or Paralog Chapter 1. So I might do that. Um, we'll see specifically what I choose until then. It'll help me grind in some levels. And uh, something else might be worthwhile doing there. Anyway though, for now, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. Send us to your friends. Check out my other ones. And I will see you guys next time.